This is there to do motivation stories, and I'm reading from the book Nishitsu, Tibetan Buddhism Stories by Zen Al, and I'll put the link down below, and I'll fixate it in the comments. The music within. The Buddhist master was invited to give a lecture at one of the famous Buddhist temples situated within the busy city of an Indian town. The master and his student were placed comfortably on the back seat of the car, and they started off from the serene mountain monastery, driving towards the city. The student could see a beautiful view of the valley. The mountain peaks covered in snow appeared straight out of an artist's book. The student pointed out the mountains to his master. Look how beautiful these valleys are, master. It feels like heaven and earth have met. Shh, keep quiet, replied the master. Let me listen to music. The student was very confused. He could not hear any music the master was referring to. All he could hear was the amazing sound of the mountain clouds growling and the wind blowing across the car window. He felt happiness all over his body and mind. Two hours into the journey, the car reached the busy city. The cars honked loudly and people crossed hurriedly across the city to get to work or elsewhere. Everyone looked so busy and desperate to reach wherever they were going. The student once again pointed out to the master, Master, this is chaos. Look how much anxiety and stress these people might be living in. Such a noise. It feels if we are in hell right now. Shh, keep quiet, replied the master. Let me listen to music. The student was even more confused now. He had no idea which music the master was talking about, all throughout the journey in the mountains and now in the city. Master, pardon me, but I cannot hear anything. Roll up your car window, the master said. So the student rolled up the car window, and suddenly he hears a silent flute song playing in the car. Ah, I never heard that. It is so beautiful, he says as he tries to listen carefully. The master laughs. Well, it's been on all this while, right from the time our journey started until the end. We are just about to reach the destination. You are late, you missed it. The student looked upset, as if he had missed the great music which his master had been enjoying all this time. All while he was busy staring and hearing the outside views and sounds. And now when he was beginning to enjoy it, they had already reached the destination. How can we hear it again, master? He looked very desperate. You can hear it when starting the new journey, the monk said looking into the eyes of his student with a smile. The message is clear, young monk. I had been listening to it all this while, and you were busy with the sounds and sights of the outside. I had withdrawn inwards, and you were attracted outwards. Your views and sights kept changing in your entire journey. Some made you amazingly happy, and some made you extremely upset, and that is what the outside world and life is all about. I saw everything, yet my focus was inwards, on the music. Just like rolling up the car window made you cut out all that noise, and you could hear the music within. Similarly, when you learn the art of withdrawing your mind from the events of the outside world, and go deep into the silence of the inward, you will see a beautiful music is playing there, something only you can hear. It is playing inside each one of us, behind the deafening silence of nothingness. Go inward, a song is playing. You see in life, in your life, this journey that we are all on has its ups and downs, but don't live from the outside to the inside, live from the inside to the outside. Go inward, and you too can hear a beautiful song that is playing. This is Dare to Do Motivation Stories. Thank you so much for watching, and stay blessed.